So you're making a little bit of money on Udemy. That's great. But how do you get your customers from Udemy to your site? That is the question. So I've got nothing against Udemy. I have been selling courses on Udemy since 2013. I've made six figures on Udemy. Udemy is great. They have 20 million users. They are all there on Udemy looking for courses to buy. It's a very easy sell, but there are problems with Udemy. I don't need to tell you what they are. It's Udemy's platform. They make up all the rules. They keep the customer's email addresses. And one of the worst things is that they only sell courses for 10 or $15 or something like that. I've tried um, to only sell my courses at high prices and opt out of the Udemy $10 promotions. That doesn't work because people buy the courses and then they ask for a refund. So Udemy isn't a good long-term business for you. You need to move off Udemy and sell courses on your own site so you can charge proper prices and you can keep the customer's email address so you can market to them in future and get repeat sales. We all know that's what we should do, but how do we do that? That's what I'm going to tell you in this video. So you need to get some sort of site that sells courses. I would recommend either Teachable or Thinkific. There are two affiliate links down in the description below. Or you might want to use Kajabi, which is more expensive. But the most important point is that the next course you make, you want to make two versions of it. You want to make a good version and you want to make a light version. The good version is a more immersive course. It maybe is over four hours long and it really gives the customer the benefit of all your experience in the subject of that course. The light version of the course maybe is only two hours long. It includes maybe 50% of the videos. It teaches the student um, a basic outline of the subject of the course, but doesn't give that immersive experience. And on the better version of the course, you could promote it with access to you via a private Facebook group, and they wouldn't get that on the cheap light version. Of course, you put the cheap light version on Udemy and you put the expensive full version on your own site and you charge $100, $200, $199 or $197 um, for that course. And on Udemy, of course, it will be um, sold at those very cheap prices. And you don't promote to Udemy. Uh, you do the uh, announcements on Udemy to promote the Udemy courses to your Udemy followers, but you do all your promotion uh, to your course on your site for the larger price so you get the customer and you get the customer's email addresses. Now how do you get to the level where you can do that? And the answer is you need an email list of over a few thousand. I would say maybe 2,000 email addresses or 3,000 email addresses plus you need before you can start making the same amount of money on your site than you do on Udemy. I mean, it's not an exact science. I can't give you an exact figure. That email list of a few thousand addresses needs to be hot. You need to have just got the email addresses and you need to be giving them good content through emails as well so they trust you. How do you get those email addresses? Well, I've found one of the best ways to get email addresses is through offering free courses. And you can do this, of course, through Teachable and Thinkific. Don't bother doing it on Udemy. It doesn't work anymore, I, as far as I can see. So you offer a free course, maybe it's half an hour long, uh, to give just a taster of information and so a student can see what your teaching style is like and see if they like you. And they won't mind, of course, getting emails off you as long as those emails provide good content and value as well. So the most important thing is to grow the list. And that takes time. Uh, it took me years to get from Udemy. So I'm in position now that I make more money 
from my own personal site than I do from you. But I made a lot of mistakes on the way and that's why I'm making this video so you don't make them. But you do have to work quite hard on blog posts that get traffic and YouTube videos that get traffic and then what do you do with that traffic? You point that traffic towards your free course in order to get the email signups so you get your email list up to a few thousand strong and then you'll be able to sell high priced, high ticket items, courses on your site and keep the customer's email addresses and that's how you grow a proper business. Staying on Udemy isn't a proper business. Udemy make the rules, they could kick you off, they can charge whatever they want and as you know they keep the email addresses so you can't promote properly to your customers on Udemy. So you've got to make that transition. Now the process of promoting yourself so you get those eyeballs in the first place onto your free courses. I can't go into it all in this video. So I do have free courses and one of them I'll put in the description below uh, tells you exactly how to do this. How to earn passive income by selling ebooks and video courses. And it's not going to happen overnight. You can't flick a switch and go from making money on Udemy to making money on your own site overnight. It's going to take a while and the transition is, is going to be bit by bit because you will still make money on Udemy by creating new light versions of your courses. But the most important thing is to offer your good customers the good quality courses that they will want to pay more for uh, on your own site. You'll then feel better about charging a different price for the same course, because it's not the same course. It's a better version of the course for which you're charging a higher price, and it's a cheap, shitty, light version on Udemy for which people are only paying about $10 and you're only getting about $2. So I hope that helped. My name's Rob Cummins. Please don't forget to subscribe or like the video. I'll see you in the next one.